it is uh, real um, because it happened to me. I um, I was I went home one time. I was home and I forgot something. Somebody ran away with my um, uh, with my wish medicine, so I tried to take it. I leave it. I'm home. Speak from, from home, you know. And as I, as I went along, I couldn't catch them until I come back. I'm going to see these lights. Am I talking right? That's good. Yeah. 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 That made up yeah. um, I saw these lights blur. I don't know what it was. Blow. Over the hill. Blow. Uh, shining over the hilltops. So I decided to go and have a look. There's no lights there. So I went around there. And there's a drilling company on the side of the hill drilling in the hill. I'm drilling in the hill. Now, I went across to them and I said, look, who gave you permission to be here? Yeah. And, um, who gave you permission? I, I asked the question. I said, look, turn that uh, machine off so I can talk to you. Turn it off. I spoke to him once, twice, three times. The third time, I said, turn, turn it off. But just speaking to him, it's just like the words were just going over his head. So you put this thing here, the light shining from up, up above there and lift that over there and another light shining down. Two lights were on. So I, I went after the third time I said, look, can you turn it off? No. So then I just stepped two or three feet in front of me and I grabbed, grabbed a stone. And I was just going to put it through the, through the office window. I said, no, I better not do that. Um, I'll throw it somewhere else. So I spun around and I threw it between the, the two lights shining down. And my trash was the middle one smash. <laughs> and the light, the, sma the, the light wasn't even on. I didn't see it because the glare of the light was shining down on me. So anyway, um, they, they rushed across, shut it off. I said, now don't turn back on. Get your, get your hierarchy here. I want to talk to them as soon as possible. I said, I'll be back to check up on you. So I went home for an hour. I come back an hour later. And when I um when I come in there, the moment I come in there, they rang the cops across the morning. So I um I think I I am talking to these guys, then the cop come along and started to ask questions. Did you do that? Yeah, I did that, yeah, that's right, snap, yeah. So um, the cop in there, Wisdom, tried to take me in the back there when the lights were shining on, on anybody. That's like, I, I'm not, you're not going to take me around here because I don't trust this cop here for a start off. He was, a, he was one that had done a um, few things that you know, they're not supposed to do. So I said, oh, you do, you talk to me in the light here. So anyway, they, they asked me the question, I said, yes, I did it. And then I went back up here and come back to me and said, look, no, I turned the thing around. I said, now look, they, they, they on my sacred hill here, and they're drilling here. I want you to arrest these buckets and send them go, put them in jail. But anyway, the, 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 the wisdom of the cop decided to take the foreigners to um, word instead of, instead of mine. So they they come along and um, said to me, right, because you smashed that light now, we're going to come back, and this is 1970, no, no, sorry, 2007. They, they, they come and said to me, you go home, we're going to come and arrest you in the morning. I said, all right, I'll be waiting. Still wait for that morning to come. That, that's how powerful your heritage is, people. And by the way, do you know where the heritage act come from? Did they keep drilling? Right? Did they keep drilling? No. Ah, they were gone. Now, the reason being is I know I, I know my rights. Mm. Because I'm, 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 I'm boasting now. This is boasting now. You know where the heritage jack come from? It come from my backyard in Leonora, a place called Weaver. 
I'm from Western Australia. That's how powerful I know the Heritage Act is. Now, let's go to I'm my countryman. He, he spoke about Jeffrey today. That's Jeffrey Stokes. We call him the shotgun pastor. <laughs> Because he, he decided to take the mining industry on too. And they wouldn't listen to him, so he grabbed a shotgun and boom, boom. Now he's facing charges. He did get to go to court. He'll probably be in court on the 22nd, 24th, I think. So he, won't, he probably won't make it here if he was coming. But I'm saying that I did it with the stone, he did it with a shotgun. But he did it in public, so they say. It's his land, so I don't know how public it is. It's, it's our land, so he, he, but he's facing the charges on that. So your heritage act is very powerful. Um, when you start challenging that, make sure you're using your own weapons. And spears, your own um, clubs, your own shields, your own whatever you because that makes a difference. Because what, what are you doing? You're using your own, your, your own um, weapons. Um, so I just, um, that's one little story. You know. I had to boast for that. <laughs> Michael, a um, question for you. In, in my regard, my case, um, as you know, it's not off the Queen. Same letters that, that she wrote back, um, uh, saying the same thing about the Attorney General and all, the, all that stuff there now. Um, I want to um, ask you the question. With that letter that they, that, that, that they sent me back, they're telling me it's... Um, yeah, they can't deal with it. The Attorney General here, uh, government general, sorry, couldn't, um, he didn't, um, he couldn't deal with it here. Now the Attorney General back home didn't have, or the, or the state government did not have any decency to write back to me, tell me anything. So as far as I'm concerned, I own that land, that's my land, my tribe's land. And I said before, I had no elders living male in, in my in my clan. And I am the tribal leader for the clan. What can I do? Um, to be able to go and challenge all that without any interference. Um, there's going to come a um, highway between Winton and Queensland right through to Labour uh, north where I am, um, south, south of the southwest of me. I'm going to put a highway through there. So you say that exclusive blue, um, what's that, belongs to those African people there. Um, we need to put up a, um, um, toll, toll bridges or toll something there. But I, will, I also want to do that to my place. <coughs> put a toll, toll bridge there so that they have to come through that. And all the, all the, even the backtracks put one there just, just for the sake of putting it there. Um, with, with the evidence that I got from the Queen and the, um, uh, the Governor General, is that possible for me to do that? Um, <clears throat> first of all, you have to tell us what you said to the Queen. Okay? Because um, if, you, if you told the Queen that's your country, and that you want her to prove ownership, or what did you say? Because that'll that'll be a key argument in terms of your tribal rights. What I told her is I'm going to take possession of my tribal sovereign right for my land. That's right. That's and, right. And she wrote back and said she can't interfere, yep. and that she can she referred it to the to the Attorney General governor. to the Governor. Well now, when you go into court, you say this is between me and the Governor. It's not between me and you. 
See, he's going to try and charge you with destruction of property. Because that's how the white man protects himself. Because he owns that thing. Yeah? He owns that light. And he paid for that light. That light is finished. Yeah. But I'm talking about possession of my yeah, land. Oh, yeah, but he's, he's charging you, though, on breaking that light. No? They, they, they still... They forgot about it. Put it that way. Oh. This is a different thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm but, okay, but now you, but now the governor hasn't responded to you about your ownership to land. No. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. He has? Yes. Somebody else wrote the letter for him. And what they say? Sorry? He can't interfere with he, that. The governor can't interfere. Can't. Well, then that means he's, he, because he's the, um, in the executive government of every state, including the Commonwealth. The executive government of a state can't meet unless he chairs the meeting. Otherwise, the meeting of the executive of the state is invalid. So he chairs that meeting. It's compulsory under constitutional law, under West Australian constitution, under every state, including the Commonwealth, that the executive chair of the national government is the governor. So if the governor's saying he can't do anything, believe it or not, he's speaking for the state as parliament as well, right? So if he's saying he can't do anything, then the question you have to ask is, this is what the governor said to me, then where do you get your jurisdiction to operate on my land? Because here's what I asked the Queen. And the Queen asked him to respond because she's a, he's a minister of the state and he had to get answers from the ministers of state which are all those people that he sit in government with and he presides over at their meeting. So now, the, now so he sent you that letter. So when you go and you argue with anybody now, you say, well, hang on a minute, there's a question of ownership here. And so there's a question of jurisdiction because my tribal law applies. And here's the High Court that says it. Marbo, please quote Marbo because it's absolutely essential. And it says, and I said there, they did not get beneficial title. Beneficial radical title. Not is the key word. Not beneficial. The key word is not. And so they can't ex exercise rights without your authority. And so when you go in there, you say, here, the governor said he can't deal with this. So he's speaking for the state. How can you as a magistrate or anyone else who want to try and charge me policemen, you can't deal with this. You go back to the governor and ask him what you're gonna, what you got, what he wants you to do about it. Yeah. These are the points that we have got to. We've got to the point where we can exercise those rights now. But like I say, there's not enough of us who know what those rights are. There's not enough of us. And if we had this school that we're talking about come up and let's start sitting down talking about those rights and identifying those rights, then we can roll those rights out all over this country all over this country. 